Hey everybody, um, I have a really fun little video for today about just some really simple ideas for starting out crafting cards and throwing in some of your junk journaling techniques along the way. And this one's extra special because um, many of you know I have an 18 year old daughter who does a ton of really awesome graphic design and she's helped out a ton in the shop made some really beautiful kits and helped me with some of the papers and things like that. She's just super talented and I love watching her work and create, but she is not actually a um, crafter. She likes the digital side of it. So I thought I'd surprise her because she was just having fun with one of these kits that she created just yesterday and she actually sat down and crafted with the physical paper. So I know many of you love when you see um, the people that you love enjoying this uh, paper crafting the way you do. So I had so much fun watching her sit down and craft and I was cheering, yay! And she came up with some really awesome designs. So I thought I would just run through a few basics for general, um, creating an aesthetically pleasing card or a fun card. Um, and I'll link to the kit below, but these principles work with anything. But she created a really fun kit um, just to really make it super easy. And most of what you see here is in that kit. There's a few things that aren't. Actually, I think the only thing that isn't is this butterfly. All the other paper stuff is in the kit. Um, it includes a ton of stuff and the cute little sayings so you can put whatever you want on your cards. And it's just fun to sit down, spend an hour or two and make a whole bunch of cards. And um, because it's really, I don't know, I don't know about you, but I love to send these personal cards. So I'm going to give you some kind of general rules. Now on this kit, you'll see that this takes a little bit of extra cutting, but it's really fun because then inside, you could do it on um, colored cardstock, or there are these little slits of paper that are included. So if you want to do an accent color, it works really well. Um, so you have that option. Now on this one, there's paper added to divide this up, and then this is put right down the center. So sometimes it's nice to just have it simple, something centered something beautiful, just the plain old word, and some fun different designs and contrasting papers, and you get a really beautiful, simple look. So I was really proud of her. <laughs> anyway, can you tell I'm beaming that my daughter decided to do paper crafting? Super fun. Um, this one, same thing. She did some paper here on the outside, um, and then instead of centering it, it's just lowered and I added a fun little charm just because it's an idea for you to know that, oh, you can add a cute little charm. It doesn't have to just lay flat. It can have some extra beads or charms. Um, you'll see, let's see this one. There's some lace and a cute little grommet. So you can do that too and make it kind of look like a tag on top of the card, which I thought was a super fun idea. And inside, there's some paper added. You do or do not have to do that. And then you can even implement some of the little ephemera bits that you have just to give it a fun, vintagey, special kind of a feel. So I thought that was super cute. Um, This one I thought was really fun. I thought this would be so cute for a baby girl, like a congratulations on a baby girl. Um or a wedding, that'd be cute. Anyway, this cute little butterfly just glued down in the center, so it's kind of three-dimensional. It just pops out of the page a little bit, really fun. Plenty of room to write inside, and you can do it on colored cardstock or white cardstock, um, really whatever you want, but super cute and super fast to whip these out. Um, this one, just add, I added some metal embellishments just to give it, again, that kind of different feel. It's a really kind of a Victorian feel. Really pretty. Um, turned out super cute. And check out what she did. <laughs> I mean, she made a little belly band. I love it. 
I thought it was super creative. You could put a little extra spe special message in there or a gift card. Um, like just really cute, really cute ideas. So, and then just this one, this is just printed like this. So you get this cute little um, picture already in place for you. So easy, so simple. You can layer these. These are separate than the words, so you can layer them how you want, put on whatever words. Um, so anyway, when you're looking at doing cards, just play around with where things are placed. <clears throat> Typically, I try to make it balanced, um, and you'll notice how like this balances out the design over on this side. Um, anyway, these balance each other. If I just put one of these, it drove me nuts. But when I added that other one, it just gave it such a sense of balance and symmetry and <clears throat> just makes it pretty to look at. So anyway, I'll link up below, but I was just a tickled mom watching her paper craft and um, I've always been proud of her digital style. She is she is just talented and it's fun to watch her sit down and actually work with some of her digital designs. So, um, good luck making cards. It's just a fun thing to do and so much funner to get this in the mail than just to get an email or a text. It's just sometimes so nice to have a physical card and just something so special about it. So anyway, I hope you learned something and I hope you have some fun with this. Thanks for watching. Bye.